last link at the bottom, it's those croaked uh, attorneys. Okay, so Paul Hastings. His name is Luke Despin. Luke Despin is a DOJ appointed trustee, Chapter 11 bankruptcy trustee for Miles School. He has a threatening Miles School and uh, uh, threatening him to pay him $250 million. And we call that extortion. And he said, if you do not pay me, and that's exactly what his words is. And we have this transcript on legal documents, which was testified by Miles School's lawyer who was there at the meeting. This guy, Paul Hastings, uh, this guy, uh, Luke Desmond from Paul Hastings said, you have to pay me $250 million. If you don't, then I will use basically, this is not words for words. The next one he's saying, if you don't, then my friends in IIS, in SEC, in federal courts and in FBI will come after you. So this guy is croaked, but the two people besides him is also croaked. So these are all the law firms, um, they're coming from all those international law firms, many of who has uh, uh, established representative offices in China for decades. They all, some of them uh, representing this guy in the middle his name is called Shan Weijian. He is the private, he's the head of the private equity fund based in Hong Kong, but registered in Cayman Island and the, uh, the company called PAG. It's a Pacific Alliance Group. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Pacific Alliance Group managing 50 billion assets, particularly a lot of uh, American pension fund invested in TPG and PAG. So TPG is a sister company of PAG. So TPG stands for Texas Pacific Group, which was also headed by Shan Weijian up to 2010. And then Shan Weijian moved from TPG to PAG, but continue his advisory role at the TPG. So TPG and PAG are very close relationship. They are all private equity fund. They have tons of institutional investor as their get as their clients. And I would worry about a lot of American citizens pension fund because your pension fund are given to this person and then invested in Asia and in China and in all those CCP kleptocrats business, which is a sham. And so these are the people in the middle. I group them as a globalist, but on the surface, they're legal business. If you don't know anything, if there's no Chinese whistleblower movement, if there's no mile school, you will not question them because they are legitimate. Okay.